creating a powerful personal anchor, accessing resourceful states for exponential growth. Anchors are powerful tools in the world of NLP, also known as neuro-linguistic programming, that can help you access resourceful states such as those experienced during hypnosis or meditation. By creating a personal anchor, you can intentionally recall and utilize these resourceful states when you're facing challenges in your daily life. Today, I want to share the different types of anchors and guide you through an exercise to create one for yourself. Understanding anchors. Anchors are stimuli that trigger specific responses or states in your mind. They can be created through association where a specific stimulus becomes linked to a particular state or emotion. Anchors can be formed organically over time or intentionally created through NLP techniques. An example of a natural anchor could be formed from your partner reaching across the table and touching your forearm on the first date while you're both laughing and having a great time getting to know each other. This heightened state paired with the physical sensation of being touched on your arm in a place that is not normally stimulated creates this powerful anchor that can continually bring you back to that memory and a positive state when your arm is touched there again. An intentional anchor in NLP is using visualization practices and hypnosis to bring yourself to that heightened state, then creating your own anchor by choosing a sensation that is easy to recall at any time. For example, I created a positive anchor to my vision of personal success with my thumb and middle finger on my right hand that instantly brings up this image of me standing barefoot on the beach in a beautiful white flowy dress and I'm gazing out at this pink and purple sunset and I'm holding my beautiful baby in my arms while my obviously gorgeous husband and my little daughter walk towards me on the sand. His hand is holding her tiny little fingers as she makes us her way towards us and she's just beaming with light. This vision to me represents family, love, peace, and beauty. I conjure it up whenever I'm feeling off course with the business or with myself and remember what I'm working towards in life. It's allowed me to call in Isaiah, move to the beach in Encinitas, California, where we live now, and bring our beautiful daughter into the world. Anchors are powerful practices. Let's get into the ways in which you can do this for your own evolution. There are several types of anchors, each associated with different senses. The first is visual anchors. These are created by associating a specific image or cue with a desired state. Auditory anchors. These involve connecting a particular sound, music, or spoken phrase with a specific state. Kinesthetic anchors. These are established by linking a physical sensation, touch, or movement to a desired state. And then we have olfactory anchors. These involve connecting a specific smell with a particular state. And last, we have gustatory anchors. These are created by associating a particular taste with a specific state. Creating your personal anchor, a step-by-step -step exercise. Here's a simple exercise to create a personal kinesthetic anchor of your own. Step one is to identify your resourceful state. Think about a specific resourceful state that you'd like to access more easily. This could be confidence, motivation, or calmness. Step two, recall a powerful past experience. Now I want you to recall a past experience when you felt this resourceful state strongly. Engage all of your senses and fully immerse yourself in the memory. Step three, choose your anchor. Now I want you to select a simple physical touch or movement that you can use as your kinesthetic anchor. This could be pressing your thumb and index finger together or touching your wrist. Make sure it's unique and it's easy to perform. Step four, set your anchor. As you fully experience a resourceful state, perform the chosen physical touch or movement. Hold it for a few seconds and then release. Repeat this process several times to strengthen the association between your anchor and the desired state. Step five is to test your anchor. Once you've set your anchor, now take a few deep breaths and let go of that resourceful state. Then activate your anchor by performing the chosen touch or movement and notice if the desired state returns or intensifies. Using your personal anchor. Now that you've created your personal anchor, you can use it whenever you need to access your resourceful state. Simply activate the anchor by performing the chosen touch or movement and allow the desired state to emerge. In conclusion, creating a personal anchor can help you access resourceful states, empowering you to face challenges and overcome obstacles with ease. By incorporating this NLP technique into your mental fitness routine, you'll be better equipped to navigate life's ups and downs. 
Thank you for showing up for yourself today. Your dedication to daily practice and mental fitness has a positive impact, not only on your life, but on the lives of all of those around you. Continue your beautiful journey of self-growth and the self by design community, where we have many other video exercises like this one, tons of guided meditations and a supportive community. Bam. That one was way better. <laughs>